If you're looking for something fun to do this weekend, there's a little farm that's tucked away just off of Highway 12 northeast of Vider. And today and tomorrow, they're hosting their inaugural Blueberry Festival. Here's 12 News reporter Cameron Burchett with a scoop. If you're looking for family fun this weekend, there's an experience in Vider that you won't want your family to miss. What's been described as a hidden gem is located on Creekwood Street in Vider. People don't expect to see a 113 acre blueberry farm. Sean Newell and his wife took the leap of faith to purchase a seven acre farm in 2020. And now they are ready to hold their first ever blueberry festival this weekend. It's just a way for people to get out here to experience it and to you know really get to see where local you know produce is, is grown here in their backyard. And that's exactly what Creekwood Farm does, as they work as a distributor for HEB to provide fresh produce statewide. We would produce about 75,000 pounds of fresh blueberries a year. To put that into perspective, that's almost the equivalent of seven elephants. But not only is the farm local, it's centered around family. My mom, dad, and uh, three of my four sisters here, and they all help in some way. Sean's sister, Elizabeth Campbell, is the event coordinator for the festival, and she has quite the list of festivities. We are going to have almost 80 vendors. They're going to have anything from homemade soap, candles, furniture, the whole nine yards. It's going to be incredible. We're also going to have live music. All centered around family fun, especially for the kids. There is definitely a different experience picking a blueberry off the bush and eating it right there in the field versus buying it at the store. Fresh food and fun for the entire family and community. We're really excited to be able to share the farm with everyone. The festival started today at 9 a.m. and runs until tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. For more information, head to 12newsnow.com. In studio, Cameron Burchett, 12 News.